Jumbo and welcome back to another video on this paradise island Zanzibar. So today I'm going to tell you about some tips and facts you need to know about Zanzibar to make your holiday year just more amazing. But let's go to the beach. I think the view is better there. And welcome back to this amazing beach. We are walking from Rio Jumbo Tau towards Kendwa Beach. And I think the number one tip is try to learn the basic words in Swahili. Zanzibar has the most friendly people here. Everybody is so friendly and appreciate it if you greet them in their language. Say thank you in their language. So just do the effort. Learn Jumbo, learn Asante Sana, Le <laughs> just speak to them in their language, they will appreciate it and you will see them always smiling. Tip number two is when you fly always carry a pen with you. As you get off the plane at Zanzibar Airport, you will need to fill out a visa form. Our South Africans don't need to pay, but you have to fill in a form. And I'll post it here, just to show you. So keep a pen with you at all times. Tip number three. You have to get these unsexy beach shoes as there's always sharp shells and coral that's on the beaches. High tide, low tide. When you do all the day trips, you need these shoes. They saved us from many injuries. Tip number four. Don't withdraw too much of the local currency at the ATMs. Even though the ATMs are limited to the airport and Stone Town area. But we found that most of the restaurants and hotels has card machines and they take Visa and MasterCard. It seems like American Express is not a big thing here. But don't withdraw too much cash, even though some of the restaurants you can pay in the local currency or you can pay with a card machine, but they all charge in USD on the card machines. Tip number five, if you see the clouds rolling in, don't be too worried about it. In our experience here, when it starts raining, it usually only rains for about half an hour and then the clouds move away and the sun comes out again. And then the day on the beach just continues. Tip number six. So bring your own medication for diarrhea, nausea, cramping. As we had a day when we were sick the whole day with food poisoning. And we ate good food, not dodgy food. So remember, Get your medication before you come to Zanzibar. Tip number seven. So we read that there is a lot of mosquitoes on this island. We didn't experience that, but we brought our mosquito stuff. We only threw, saw three mosquitoes when we visited the spice farm. So I will say bring your mosquito stuff, but don't be too worried about mosquitoes in Nungui or Kendwa area. Tip number eight, we would definitely recommend that you download Google Maps for the area you want to go to on the island. It really helps a lot if you want to navigate in all the back streets and places you want to go. Tip number nine, Zanzibar is safe. You can leave your bag on the beach chair and go swim in the sea and you'll get back and your phone will still be there, your camera will still be there. I think it's safe because they don't want to chase away the tourism. So you can be rest assured, it is safe here. Definitely. Tip number 10, if you plan on doing any day trips where you need to do some snorkeling or swimming, if you have your own gear, I would suggest bringing it. Me personally, don't like it to wear a mask, but I know other people will. <laughs> so we brought our own snorkeling gear, masks, snorkels, and our own fins. So if you want to do that, bring your own stuff. Tip number 11. Zanzibar is very conscious about the environment. They don't give out plastic bags or plastic straws. So if you want to do and do shopping, bring a material bag with you or they will give you a material bag. 
just to save the sea turtles and the ocean life. Yes, that's pretty cool of them to do that. Mm. Tip number 12. There are so much souvenirs available to buy at the hotel, on the beach with the locals. Uh, you can't negotiate prices because they are quite set on their prices. So support the locals, take something with you for the family, for friends, magnets, charongs, bags, hats, everything you can think of. Tip number 13, if you're planning on doing any day trips like blue safaris or any of those adventures, just make sure that you know where the, the boats depart from. We found it that they, we booked the trip but they didn't tell us we're gonna be in the taxi or bus for an hour and a half. So there's a lot of trips around the island that might be closer to you that's more or less the same. So maybe just make sure that you know where the trip departs from so you don't have to waste three hours in a taxi or on a bus to get there and back. Tip number 14. So we didn't have clarity whether we need yellow fever vaccinations or not. So we got it at the travel clinic in Hatfield, Hatmed. It costs 750 Rand per vaccination and I will not regret it because what will you do when you get on the airport they ask for your vaccination and you don't have them so there were people on the plane that stayed in Kenya for four days when they got on Zanzibar airport they didn't have the vaccination and the officers took them somewhere so to prevent that we got it just for our protection it can't harm you or won't harm you and yeah we'll it is valid for 10 years, so I will recommend get the vaccination so just to make sure you are fine. So these local fishing sailing boats are called DOW, D-H-O-W. You have to sail on one if you get the chance. Yeah, they are so cool. Uh, thank you guys for joining us on all this tips and tricks. If you have any more questions or wonder about anything, Drop a comment below, maybe we have the answer and we can comment there and support you, help you guys out to plan your next trip here. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you, bye. bye.